Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 24th, 25th, and 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. How are you? I hope excellent. Now, remember weekend readings. I use my two decks, Bradley Valentine. I use my angel tarot cards for my main message, and then I pull one, usually, from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Thank you to all. We are getting through this, and I hope you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think I, I, I have been, so I hope you have been too. Um, remember, I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is that needs to come through for whoever's out there. It just does. Okay, three cards are face down. Nothing's reversed. Reverse cards usually mean a little stronger energy. So let's see what we have for the weekend for my Aries. Here we go. Six of water, okay, very contemplative type of energy. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, kind of thinking back to some better times, kind of, you know, like I said, being very contemplative. Use this energy. Now, is there something that from that past that you want to go back to? I don't see my Aries, you know, like once you leave something, you may want to hold on to it a little bit more so, but... I don't necessarily see you going back to it. I think that you're very forward-looking people, um, forward-looking sign, energy, and it's kind of like, this might be nice, and maybe this is what you're going to possibly recreate in that future, okay? Okay, so the Six of Water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So again, Maybe this is what you liked, what you want, and maybe these were some dreams that weren't necessarily fulfilled. But this is that time then that you can learn from that. Learn what it is that maybe, what was what part did you play in whatever this was? And this could be any of those relationships, work, job, career, personal, interpersonal, intimate. It could also be family. But it's kind of like you're going to take that and you're going to work towards that going forward. Now, I'm not saying that that person or job that you may not, but you would then go forward with it differently. Okay? Okay. Next card up is that King of Earth. Now, this kind of is a, prof this is definitely a professional job. Okay? A professional card. This is about your money. This is Earth energy. So this is, you know, this is our Taurus, which we're in Taurus season. This is also our Virgo, our Capricorn, solid energy, something, someone you can touch. Um, but this is really about work. This is about career. This is about that job. This is about you going out there and putting on, you know, you getting what you want. You going for it, okay? This is extremely, extremely um, money-oriented and job-oriented, or if I should say career-oriented, okay? So maybe this, maybe you looked at a job that you thought, oh, this was a really nice job, but no, you know, you you re um, you refocus your priorities. Okay, maybe it was a great job, but it didn't pay, or maybe you know, you know, what I'm saying so, and now you're looking for that job that does pay. So this is you putting on your professional suit and getting out there. Okay, generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. Okay, last card up. The King of Water. So here again is that, that emotional energy too that we were talking about. Not only is there the solid energy, but this is really good because these two kings, these are, you know, this is also that money energy, that solid energy, that emotional energy, and this is the ruling energy. Okay, does that make sense? So it's, it's not only that you're getting what you want financially, but it also um, connects with you on more of an emotional, you like what you're going to be doing, okay? So if this is going into that new job, you're going to like this new job. If this is going into that new career, you're going to like this new career. Um, you know, also too, I don't know who's graduating. Congratulations. It took you, it took you a lot of hard work to get through, through that school, you know, so, you know, Congratulations, but now there's this excitement. There's also, 
It's like opportunities. I feel opportunities, even though we're in this weird time. Opportunities for my Aries will be, you'll be seeing them. You will be seeing them. They will be opening up for you. And the king of water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Okay, so let's go on. Let's go on now one more time. This is the my Archangel, my Power Archangel Energy cards. Or Archangel Power? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go here. Archangel Power Energy cards. Here we go. One more. Okay, let's go ahead, and we're going to cut the cards for you. This card is reversed. It's a strong energy for you. Here we go. Last card from my Aries. The Page of Gabriel. Okay. Fire energy. Your energy. Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, the page is enthusiastic. The page is just like, let's go do this. The page is that, you know, is that young energy that says, I can do anything and this is going to work for me. Fire energy, passionate, burning, determined energy. This is about you going for it and you going after your dreams. And that's what makes, so whatever this is that you're, you know, if you're graduating, because I feel like there's somebody out there graduating, you're leaving behind, you're leaving behind childhood, you're entering into adulthood, or, you know, you, or, or you, you know, you, you are leaving behind an older job that you, you didn't mind, and you're entering into something that just doesn't, that also pays you well, and that also, you know, it excites you, and here is the page of Gabriel saying, go for it, follow your dreams. Now, energetic, brave, optimistic, playful, follow your passion, I should say. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So a lot of things this weekend, even though we're in this weird situation, it seems like the, well, the energies are really there to help push you forward. Now, remember we had that new moon, that new moon on the 23rd. This is that time for you to request. Put it out there. If you don't, you know, if it's not, put it, you know, I tell you, write it down, put it on your refrigerator look, or somewhere where you can look at it every day. I all, you know, you want to make it detailed enough, but not too detailed, okay, because, but you do want to put end dates on too, okay, but it's really good, and then look at it every day and say it to yourself what it is you're wanting, because the energies right now look really positive, and I like that. I'll claim that for my Aries, so my Aries. You know those buttons down there, press them, thumbs up. Okay, but as always, my Aries, know that you are loved, stay safe, and be blessed. Bye-bye.